Hey YouTube, it is Race Day 2011 and boy oh boy do we have ourselves a great video for you tonight. This is a fan pretty cool video that I got to put together. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff that I got over the week and this is a couple of things that I managed to pick up. Um, a couple die casts rather I should say. You know, I managed to pick these up and got them on sale so I got them a pretty good price and this is kind of like a, this is, this is really a warm up to what Black Friday is going to consist of. Black Friday is going to be a big weekend for us, you know, we're going to do a lot of die cast shopping, we're going to buy off a couple of my friends online and then we're going to go visit the NASCAR die cast shop over in Riverside, New Jersey, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, Jack's is a pretty good store. Go shop for them, definitely. This is a pretty cool looking set we got here. You know, we got a couple, just a few die casts. We don't have that many, but you know, it's pretty cool. You know, I think the die cast we got this time around really shows quality over quantity. Now, you may well have noticed over the past couple weeks, uh, the cars I've been reviewing mostly were Sparks. Sparks make really good die casts. You know, I mean, I just, I mean, look at this Toyota car. I mean, my God. This was a top of the line die cast in 164 department. I don't think I've ever reviewed a 164 that really was this high of quality. I mean, they did a phenomenal job with this car. And also with the Ford GT. I mean, the Ford GT was just phenomenal. They did a great job with this one. And believe me, this is something that's going to be on my shelf for a long time. And of course, my personal favorite Spark model of all, the Porsche. Porsche 911, the Coca-Cola one. I mean, that is just a all around beauty. That was a great ad I got from the Petit Le Mans race and I'm so glad I got that because it started really a new hobby. I mean, I'm not doing these nearly, I mean, I mean nearly as often as the NASCAR reviews. But what but you know, once once in a while if I get a nice paycheck, you know, and I think to myself, you know, hey, I want to pick up a few Spark models. That's what I want to do. I mean, it's my obligation, you know, I kind of really enjoy doing it. I think Spark just makes Absolutely fantastic die cast. So without further ado, let's go on with the die cast here. The first die cast I picked up is something that is gonna is gonna bring back the memories of a lot of fans. A lot of fans of sports car racing, stock car racing alike. It is a fantastic looking model. I am so glad I picked one of these up, and this is gonna bring back a lot of good stories to tell you. It is the Wayne Taylor Racing Cadillac. From 2017 in the in the Rolex 24 at Daytona, driven by Ricky Taylor, Jordan Taylor, Max Angelelli, and NASCAR superstar Jeff Gordon. Fantastic looking diecast, great model by Spark. I mean, I looked this over myself, and let me tell you something: the quality of this product, the Cadillac DPIs, is something that is just incredible, and I honestly cannot wait to film the review of this one. It is a fantastic looking model by Spark. They did a fan, they just an overall great job. And I noticed they called Daytona Prototypes. Meanwhile, it's a DPI. Well, the DP stands for Daytona Prototype. I get it, but I just find it a little funny. Fantastic looking die cast. I mean, I just have so many good memories of this race. I remember staying up all 24 hours for this race. And the whole Wayne Taylor guys, I mean, my God... They took out a few cars in that race. I remember when Jeff Gorey came out of the pits and he wiped out the Mazda. That was one. And, of course, you know, when Ricky Taylor, I think, was driving behind the 10 car, he wiped out Felipe Albuquerque with, like, seven minutes to go. That was a shocker that that actually happened. I was quite shocked that the 10 car didn't get the penalty. He didn't get sitting over, the, over that penalty box. <laughs> That's what I was kind of expecting. But I guess they got away with it. They thought it was just racing and, well... The Wayne Taylor Cadillac won the race, and we got the Spark model for it. Absolutely wonderful. I'm actually kind of glad Jeff Gordon got his name on this car because that there was a little bit of a dispute with uh, Jeff Gordon's name. That's why the model got so delayed. But luckily, I was able to get it for a decent price. And this is one that's going to really, like, wow you. I mean, I have never really laid my eyes on such a beautiful chrome car. It is staggering the fact that they're able to put this much detail into a, a die cast is incredible and we're going to show right here it is the Michael Shank LMP2 Honda Lige for the 2016 24 hours of the mall and I absolutely had to pick this up 
I mean, fitting that I picked this up, actually, because Meyer Shank just announced today that they're going to run a full IndyCar program in 2020, partnership with the Andretti Autosport team. So I kind of figured that was going to happen because when McLaren bought Schmidt, I was like, there's no way My Meyer Shank's going to stick with them because they're loyal Honda factory team. In fact, this car is actually a Honda Lige before uh, the, the ACO actually regulated that all LMP2s had to be Gibson engines. So this is back when Honda was actually able to badge an engine for LMP2 cars, and they've been around with Honda for a long time, and I'm so glad that you're able to get the Spark model of this because I cannot tell you how beautiful this prototype really is. I wish I could have gotten the IMSA version of it, but let me tell you, I, I am not complaining. This Lamar version is so beautiful, and I don't know if you can see it right here, but you can see my full reflection. Yeah, thanks, thank you very much, uh, Spark right there. Um, but the interior, if you look right here from the top portion of the car, it is almost perfect chrome. Like you can almost like see a reflection perfectly. I don't know what they did with this car, but oh my God, is it spectacular. All around great job by Spark on that one, including the one with the Wayne Taylor Cadillac. They did themselves a lot of favors by making it these die casts. And quite frankly, I was happy to pick these up. So a couple of announcements we got to make here before we wrap up this video. We'll be doing these two model reviews, that's for certain. There's going to be another very cool review we're going to do. It's going to be the Pagano Indy 500 winner. That actually came in stock. Uh, I did not order the podium set yet. We'll definitely do the podium set when I am actually able to get it. Um, I did order the 500 winner. It is the figure version 500 winner. I have a little surprise with that figure version winner review, so stay tuned for that one. Um... I will get, eventually get the non-figure version of Pagano's 500 winner, but for the diecast review, I said, you know, I got to get the figure version first. It's only limited to 500 pieces, so I figured pick that up, and we did that, and it will be coming in next week. So we'll do these two, the 500 winner, and we'll go from there. Comment, like, and subscribe, and this is Race H1 that reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It gets better. All the diecast kid is saying is give peace a chance.